Hi, this is Brett Kramer from Discrete Prepper. Thanks for tuning in today. At Discrete Prepper, we build discrete, everyday carry survival solutions. We want to ensure that you have the emergency gear necessary to handle most situations right at your fingertips. Let's look at some new products that we have. Hi, this is Brett Creamer from Discreet Prepper. I want to show you one of our newest products we just finished. This is called the H2O to go. It may look like a simple water bag. In fact, it's not much bigger than a normal water bag that, or a water pouch that I carry to work every day. Okay? The only thing about this is that sets it off is it's a little thicker in the front. Okay? It's got a little pouch area. What we made here was a survival system that not only holds your water, but it holds other survival gear that can help you in a disaster situation, an emergency, or just day-to-day -day common use where you may run into some problems. Let me show you what's in the pack. We open up the front here. We have our duct tape. We have our multi-tool. We have bug spray. We have our fire kit. We have our medical kit. And we even have a slingshot right in the front. On the sides we have two flashlights, a Larry power stick flashlight, and a directional small pocket flashlight, both LED. We have on the zipper pole a backup compass and a backup emergency whistle. Okay. On the outside we have 40 feet of braided 550 power cord made into a strap. So you pull this thing apart, you have 40 feet of 550 cable. On the inside, we have obviously our stainless steel water bottle. We have a life straw. We have an emergency blanket. We have our nesting cup. We have a handkerchief, we have our fishing kit and miscellaneous gear, and we have our poncho. Now let me go over everything that this bag has to offer so you can see why this kit is far better than most large bags you can buy. This kit has everything you need, it's portable, easy to throw in a, in a duffel bag in the back seat of your car and your trunk to keep it at your office. This has everything you need to be able to get home. As long as you know how to use the gear, you have everything you need in a lightweight, small pouch that is easy to handle, not too big, and it's very discreet. Now, let's take apart each and every bag we have in here, and I'll show you what is inside each one of our tins. Now, the heart and soul of our kit comes in our tins. We have three tins here and what I do is I want to make sure that all our tins are in plastic and everything inside of them is sealed and in plastic because let's say you're, you're by the water somewhere and your bag drops in the water I don't want all your gear filling up with water or ruining any of the metal objects in here and letting them get rusty. So everything inside has been bagged and is sealed. So let me show you really quick all of our tins. These are sealed with black Ranger bands, which you could use for other purposes. Everything inside is sealed in plastic, okay, and Ziploc bags. So everything is completely sealed. Want to make sure that you see that this is how you will get your kit. Band-Aids down to your needles, everything is sealed in small bags that are resealable. So if you needed to take a Band-Aid out, everything is sealed, is sealed up. Okay? 
So let me get to one of these kits. I'm going to take these all apart and show you everything that's inside outside of the bags. In the fishing kit, we have six sealed wet wipe containers for, for going to the bathroom, for wiping your face, whatever you need. You have six wet wipes. You have two backup batteries in case you leave one of your lights on or you're outside for an extended period of time and want to make sure you have light. In our fishing kit, we have a bobber. We have four lures, not to mention four different size fishing hooks and four weights. You have 100 yards of 12 pound line and I also put in four wire ties, which have multiple uses. As for our medical kit, I've included four aqua tabs for purifying water and a one quart size Ziploc bag. One pill for one quart size bag of water is all you need per day to get by, depending on your situation. So you would have four days worth of order if you wanted to only use your pills. Okay. You also have your emergency straw filter, which can be placed directly into your water bottle after you've boiled your water, which I would boil your water anyway, no matter what. But you have the ability to boil your water, you can use your filter, or you can use your pills. You have three different ways of purifying your water. You have four band-aids. You have four large gauze pads. You have triple antibiotic ointment. Hand gel, cleaning your hands, keeping yourself sterile, while at the same time, this is great for starting fires. Thread. Four large safety pins and two needles both different size needles. Now let's look at our fire kit. I like keeping everything in tins because it keeps it organized, it keeps your gear from getting crushed, plus you have the ability to store things in your tins if you want to put some of these items in your pocket and you need it to store some berries or things that you find, you can put them in your tins, plus you can use your lid as a signal device. Now inside your tin, you have a magnifying glass for starting fire, and on your magnifying glass you have a compass, an emergency whistle, and a thermometer. You have a lighter. You have a fire striker. You have petroleum jelly, which starts great fires on tinder. You have four compressed cotton wads here for starting fires. These have been treated and will each burn for two minutes. These are for severe damp days where it's either raining or snowing or you're on snow. These will light. This is a chemical fire starter that once you light these, these will burn for eight minutes each. I also have a backup magnifying glass in the bottom here in case you lose this. Once again, I like to make sure I put backup tools in everything I sell. If I lose a knife, I have another one. If I lose my magnifying glass, I have another one. If I lose one way of making fire, I have another one. I want to make sure I have multiple ways of saving my life. I don't want to put a kit in someone's hand unless it has multiple ways of keeping them alive. We have two multi-tools. One is a Stanley multi-tool. This has been tested and it is a nice heavy duty tool. It has a pair of pliers, wire cutters, it has a file, screwdriver end, saw blade, and a traditional blade. Try not to cut myself, these are extremely sharp. And another blade here for your emergency use. 
For the size I looked at for other comparable multi-tools, this one was the most heavy duty. I want to make sure if a disaster happened and you needed a multi-tool, that you had a dependable tool and the Stanley fit the bill for me as I tested it and checked it out. We also have another multi-tool that you can put in your pocket for a backup plan if you drop this or lose it. This one is a very, very basic duty multi-tool. Saw blade, blade here, can opener, bottle opener, wrench for hexagon bolts, compass, and a roller. Obviously, if it gets to using this, it's a bad time, but I want to give you backup in case something happens. In our kit, we also have a handkerchief, which can be used for purifying water. We have bug spray. Bugs carry disease, and especially if you have a scenario where it's been a uh, tsunami, a volcano, an earthquake, something like that, where you may have dead bodies around, the mosquitoes are biting them, and then they're going to come land on you, you want to make sure they don't bite you too and give you some kind of sickness. As stated before, you have 40 feet of 550 cord. You have two flashlights. Super bright LED flashlights plus two extra batteries for your flashlights. You have your nesting cup and your stainless steel bottle for boiling water for making soup. I would suggest throwing in some chicken bouillon or beef bouillon cubes into your pack so you have a quick, easy meal to eat on the go. You have duct tape for sealing up a wound, for marking a direction which way you want to go, for, for fixing some of your gear. You have a slingshot for small game. You have your fishing pack for small game. We've got it all in here, all in a small lightweight pack that can hook into a Molly backpack system or have other Molly packs and Molly systems fit on this. There's multiple ways of hanging this on your person. Your steel hook on your top, your straps on the back, there's multiple ways of using this. So we try to think of every situation how this would be useful for you. And you could leave this in your house, you could leave it in your car, you can take it into work and leave it in your, in your office. Any place you want to take something and be discreet, you have the discreet prepper H2O to go. You may be asking yourself why you need any of this gear. I've been through several disasters in my life. I've been through hurricanes because I lived in Florida. We were through four hurricanes. I had a boat in Maryland. Now I stayed on the boat through two hurricanes. I know it's like to see disaster roll through. Besides that, we have things happening on this earth that we've never seen happen before. At this time, we have over 40 active volcanoes on the face of the earth. We have earthquakes happening from an 8.0 in Japan to a 7.5 in Alaska. We have tsunamis, we have sinkholes, we have tornadoes, we have mudslides, we have drought and fire. We have things happening all at once and it's overwhelming. My goal when I make these kits is to give you a fighting chance. If you know how to use this gear, it can save your life. I would depend on this to save my life and I'm hoping that you see the need to start preparing for the basic elements of life, to be able to provide water for yourself, shelter, food, heat. Make sure you have everything you need right here to survive. I want to give that to you through my products. I want to make sure that I give you a product that not only can save your life, but is also a discreet way of carrying it without pointing out that you're a prepper or a a survivalist. I want to make sure that when you have your gear on you, no one thinks twice about it. Because also, having gear like this means people are going to want it. So make sure when you're looking for your gear, you're looking for quality tools, you're looking for things that are smart and well designed that are going to last and hold up to time, that have multiple uses. Like the hand gel, being able to clean your hands and start fires for petroleum jelly being used for medical situations and using it for fires, duct tape, sealing up your gear, fixing holes and things, patching up wounds on your body. There are so many different uses here for things and I want to make sure that everything here is useful for you. If you have any comments or questions, please comment below. 
or send me an email at bcreamer at discreetprepper.com. To see any of our other products that we offer, please go to discreetprepper.com. Thank you. Have a great day, and God bless you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you're interested in any of our products, please go to discreetprepper.com. If you have any comments or questions, please email me at bcreamer at discreetprepper.com. Subscribe here to our YouTube channel, like this video, and like us on Facebook. Thank you. Have a great day, and God bless you.